Hello and welcome back to part two of my second seascape photography vlog. Join me today as I walk you and talk you through how I took these photographs. These are some of the images we will be capturing today. I said I was going to show you me taking photographs. That never happened. And um, that never happened for a very good reason. There was a whole host of big waves came in, so I was just purely concentrating on my photography. But uh, I'm going to show you the photographs I got here in Onea. None of them are beautiful. Uh, just the waves are a bit too strong today. Um, there's too much white water there. Uh, it's, it's something that's very hard to describe. If there's a lot of waves breaking, you get a lot of white water. The problem with white water is when that sweeps back out long again, it creates just a complete white blanket drifting back out. What you want is you want these patches of white in amongst the dark sand. And that then is going to give you those absolutely amazingly vibrant dynamic images. Now I'm going to talk you through my thought process here. I noticed on the right of frame, I was getting some very nice lines at times with the right waves, as you can see here. Now the big issue I have with this shot is the flat, boring blue sky up here. It kind of ruins the aggressive, dramatic mood I was going for. So I took the next shot with a plan in my mind. I cropped it into a 2 by one aspect ratio to still fit in what I wanted while more or less killing off the boring sky. Did it work? Well no, not really, but it was all I could do considering the conditions. The light now isn't looking very good, <laughs> being honest with you. Uh, it looks like there's a heavy rain bank coming in, so that could be the end of the photographs for today. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over along there and all again. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this, watch this. Look at those lines. Oh cool, right. New shot found! <laughs> so what I'm looking at here now is, I'm looking at the water coming in around through here. We just wait for a wave. Here it comes in through here. It runs up and then it goes back out. Now what we need, what we need is a bigger wave and a big wave to come in. So it goes up a bit further and then it's going to run back out along all in the one go. So I'm going to wait for that. Actually, I think there's one coming here. I have nothing set up. I'm going to grab my camera because that's actually quite a big wave. Right. So, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And now. Oh, look at this line here. I'm actually creating that white line in the water by my legs being in the, <laughs> by my legs being in the middle. But that was actually really cool. I'm going to set everything up here now and I'm going to see how that looks. Uh, the first thing is, camera needs to go higher. So I'm going to switch this off, set the camera up and try to take your photograph. So, I'm here now, and I'm thinking about moving. <laughs> There's a few good sized waves coming in! <laughs> Pop the camera back down along again, get ready, and bang. Fire off our exposure. That white line going down along there is hopefully going to give us a nice enough shot. I was a bit too soon with that one. Uh, but, I'm going to try that again, and there's another big wave coming, so I'm actually going to move this time. I think, yeah, there's two waves. Give me a second, because... No, it's... I'm moving, not because I'm afraid I'm going to get wet, but because I'm afraid the front of the camera is going to get wet, and the filter's going to get destroyed, it's going to go in between the filters, and I have to clean everything out lying in. So it's going to break the process, much the same as talking to you is breaking the process. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to go back, I'm going to set everything up, I'm going to change filters. I'm shooting out a six-stop ND filter, I'm going to go back and change to a four-stop ND filter because the light levels are dropping, I don't think the sun is going to come out. So um, I'm going to chance it, I'm going to get my exposure roughly on right with a four-stop ND. I might actually shoot that in portrait too as well, which is what I'm thinking because if you look at that here, if I shoot from, maybe from here now, and I'm just getting that edge and running up along there, 
going all the way up there, going all the way over and going down. I'm just getting those rocks and the water running back out. That could look pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Or do I go back up here? Sorry, I don't know a second. I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm just looking here because there is also waves coming all the way up here and the odd time going back down along. The one thing, the one thing I'm gonna do here though is move the seaweed. Seaweed is a pain in the arse in long exposures. So I'm um, gonna see how this looks now. I don't like it. I'm actually standing here looking at it now and I really don't like it. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Pop it into I'm gonna pop it into portrait and try. Because I think that sun is gonna pop. That sun could pop. Okay, do you wanna know something funny? I just walked over to a four-stop graduated filter because I said the sun wasn't gonna come out. Guess what happened? So I'm shooting here now. I've gone to F16. So I'm shooting with a five-stop graduated filter. I just slid the five-stop graduated filter in. I'm still staying put on this shot. Um, I'm hoping this is going to come right. The sun still has about maybe 20 minutes to go before it sets down over the horizon. So I'm hoping it's going to get better. And I'm going to move to a secondary location once I get this shot. Uh, just right now, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to shorten the screen here now and here, but that's the shot I have so far. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> Did the gamble pay off, Kieran? But the really cool thing is, and this is this is where I'm so lucky. I have another filter holder with my six-stop ND filter and a four-stop grad in there, so I can literally just swap it out in a couple of seconds. So it's not the end of the world. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to balance and trying to forecast what the light is going to do here now at the moment. Because, again, the sun has gone back in behind the clouds. I have no idea if you can hear me or not. Genuinely have no idea. You probably can't. But um, that's not the point of today. Today is the point of me getting my sea legs back again. And um, hopefully getting some nice shots. And I'm looking... So close. Ah, the sun's coming back out. So I'm at F16 here now. 1.6 seconds, ISO 64. I'm shooting with a four stop graduated filter. I say five stop graduated filter, I changed that, and a four stop ND filter. I'm just waiting for a really big wave to come in. I, I'm, I'm really tempted to move, but from past experience, I've always found as soon as I move, that's when the wave comes up. So I'm going to chance it, I'm going to stay here, I'm going to stick to my guns for another couple of seconds, wait for a few more waves, and hopefully one's going to come in. Doesn't really look like it, though, Kieran, does it, Jim? Aegis. Oh, wait. No. That's just... Ah! I'm looking at those rocks there. Or going down here for those rocks. Or just going anywhere else. But... I've kind of committed to this shot now, so... I'd like to see it out. I just don't think I'm going to get it. I really don't think I'm going to get it. Who's betting that this wave is going to do it? Because this wave is going to do it. We have a wave. We definitely have a wave. Hold top. That was too much of a wave. Damn it. No! Last one. Oh, please. Nah, it was too much. Too much of a wave. Literally too much of a wave. Blast it! I'm gonna have to make a call on this here now because our light is about to go there in a couple of seconds. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get that shot. Yeah, I don't know, I think I screwed this up. Even though there's a wave coming, there's one and there's another one behind it. So the top one is gonna come in so far and the secondary one might just... Come on, please. Please. Blast it. There should just be enough. Not enough, really. I just needed a small bit more of a wave than that. Just a tiny bit. Here's another one. That one might just make the one behind. There's two, two as well. 
is that going to make it or is it going to be killed off? I know. Because the the other epic shot is... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go back up here because I think that... I think that's a shot. Is it? Is it? Is it? Ah, did one of them work? Ah! Wait, there's another one coming. No. Right, uh, I'm going to have to make a call on this here now. So I'm going to stop this. I am going to go... I'm going to go where? Where am I going to go? I want to go there. The light is gone. By the time I move down, the light is gone. That light is going to go in behind. Yeah. All right, I'm going to wait here. See, it's always a case of, do you go and get like 15 mediocre shots or do you go and get the shot you really want? Um, I'll always risk it for biscuits and I will always go for the shot that I really want. And that is why I am not going to go home with a photograph today. Well, I did. I got a few photographs early on I like. Um, I'm looking there now, actually. Uh, if you're looking out long, there's a few bigger waves breaking. That secondary wave there now. There's two in that, is there? There is. That's big. Oh, yeah. Is it going to come all the way up? Ah, it's not. The one girl killed it. All right. This one is coming. This one has nearly got enough, has it? No. That's it. That's it, is it? Oh yeah, that's it. Done. Dusted. Nude before I even pressed the shutter button. That was it. Right, I'm the hell out of here. I'm going down here now and what I'm going to try and do is get a shot here. I'm going to try and get the water flowing over those rocks. There's a few bigger waves coming. Uh, I'm going to see how this looks. Give me a second because I need to pay attention here because I could get absolutely drowned here in a couple of seconds. This really could be one of those moments that you <laughs> you say goodbye to your camera if you're not if you're not careful. Right, this this could work out really well now. Um, I'm gonna fire off my shot. No, yes, that's a cracker. That's an absolute cracker. I think. Oh look at that. Love that. Love that shot immediately. I knew it before I pressed the shutter button. The front of the lens is covered in water spots. Right, I'm moving. Big wave coming. Two seconds, back to you again. Gonna get more of those shots. Right, going back into position again. I'm gonna fire off another shot in portrait here. Even though I think I have the shot I want. Give me two minutes. I'm just gonna try and position this. Uh, just need to brighten up my screen so I can see what I'm doing. No, that's not right. Damn it. Or is it? Give me a second, give me a second. Boom. Nearly. I think I screwed that one. That's nice. Okay, give me a second, give me a second, there we go, damn it, seaweed, ah, screw you seaweed, right, going back to the game, right, so there I have another, another shot, oh yeah, really like that, really like that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna swap this drone now and take a few landscape shots, Try and position myself because that light is looking really epic there now. Give me two minutes. That's what I just was. <laughs> the, the water! The water came all the way up. It like That was nuts. Saw that one coming. That was close. That was really close. That was really close to me getting absolutely drowned. And here comes another one. But I'm gonna try and get a shot before. Oh that's okay. Right off. So, this is what I'm looking at here now at the moment. Uh, uh, gonna fire that off. No, that's a cracking shot. Straight away. Yeah, really like that. Now look at the front of the lens. 
damn it! Moisture again. Need to clean that off properly because that's a nice nice wave coming there. Um, right, I'm gonna fire off one more and no. Yeah. That looks nice too. Yeah, I think this is I think this is working out. Really good choice stopping and staying here, I think. Um, I really want to go there. That, that's where I want to go. I, I'm like a kid in a candy shop here now at the moment. Or even stand up here. If I stand, if I stand there and take a shot there, the light and everything. Look at the look at the light in that cloud up there. Uh, I just think that's really risky. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just gonna check the front of the lens here again. Yeah, there's a shed load of stuff on the front of the lens. Me two seconds, go back up here again, switch you off. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is where I am now. <laughs> I've, I've thrown safety, to, thrown safety to the wind here now. You probably can't hear me, but um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a shot of the water running back out along there because what's happening is the water is coming up, it's coming all the way up behind me and coming back down through again. So I'm trying to get that in a shot there on both lines and see what happens. Perfect. But I just need to be really careful because when a big wave comes in, I'm going to be about knee deep in water here and then there's going to be more water coming in from behind. So I really have to watch the really watch the waves and be incredibly careful. Like I say, so um, here we go, this is the shot. Give me two seconds, give me two seconds. That's it. That is the shot. Uh, I'm just gonna go up here now, I'm gonna show you the photograph. But I nearly guarantee you, that is the shot. So we're looking here now, I'm gonna press play. Come on, please don't make a fool out of me. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah, that's the shot. Um, I'm not gonna risk it anymore because like I was I was standing down there and while it's not too bad right now you get a big wave comes in there and you literally would be way steep in water and the problem with it is is the water comes up behind you because this side is slightly lower so the water's gonna come up over along there it's gonna come down behind you and it's gonna drag you out so you really 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 need to know what you're doing and you do not do the fool in situations like this. I really truly know what I'm doing. It might look like I don't, and I'm smiling, I'm laughing, but I take this incredibly seriously. I really and truly do. Uh, it's my life I'm messing with here to a certain extent. It's also my camera gear, which I take incredibly seriously. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you would like to see more videos like this of me out and about, making an absolute eater out of myself while I'm taking photographs and talking you through it, please let me know in the comments down below. Look at that! <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. I was, I was just, just finishing the video and I saw the wave coming. And uh, you notice sometimes there, there was like a double wave and the one in the back was big and I was thinking, do you know what now? That's going to be me getting seriously wet unless I move out of here quickly. It's definitely goodbye now guys and um, see you out there, mind yourselves and see you in the next video.